G'day everyone, Desi here, and welcome back to another BTLA replay. This week we've got something special. We're going through the Halloween seasonal event that ran for pretty much the whole month uh, from Halloween all the way through to end of November. We weren't going to leave these live on the platform to affect the leaderboard. We wanted to retire them straight away and we'll probably keep this up with other seasonal events. And today I'm going to be taking you through a URI, which was the lab that um, Malik had a huge hand in creating. Um, he loves creating his stories and we're definitely going to get into reading the scenario and going through all of his questions. But before we do that, make sure you follow us on X, LinkedIn, or join the Discord server because we definitely saw it during this seasonal event, but how good the community was. And if you're not already part of that community, you're missing out. Uh, links, as always, will be in the description box below. But right now, let's jump into it with reading the scenario. And well, before I'm going to do that, I'm going to kick off the investigation so it loads up in the background, and then we'll come back. So the scenario is I'm Lona Vali, currently employed at Tech Innovator Inc., a cybersecurity startup. Our company's name may sound a bit whimsical, but our primary mission is to safeguard businesses from cyber threats and ensure their continuous operation. Ironically, we've recently faced allegations of security breaches. Yes, it's quite ironic for a cybersecurity provider to fall victim to hacking. It almost feels worse than the reputation of LastPass. Just as an aside there, that's like a little stab that Malik gave there, uh, calling out LastPass. We're certainly going through some challenging times and sometimes it feels we're haunted by these incidents. Very appropriate for Halloween. I've become quite vigilant about our situation. In my role as a junior forensic analyst, I've observed some peculiar behavior from my colleague, Katie Tilf, who is an integral part of our two-person team. Lately, she's been falling behind on her workload and missing important meetings, which is quite uncharacteristic of her. This situation has placed additional pressure on me, making me feel like I'm cleaning up after her, much like a janitor. What's more frustrating is that our manager doesn't seem to care much about her deteriorating performance. And this is on top of the already less than ideal circumstances at our startup. It's becoming increasingly exhausting for me to deal with this situation. I've noticed that Katie is spending a lot of time using her Outlook email client. During a moment of curiosity, I observed her engaged in an extended email conversation with someone named Brody on her work PC. The strange thing is that Brody doesn't work for our company, nor is he a client. Seizing an opportunity when Katie was away from a desk, I discreetly downloaded a copy of this email conversation. I'm determined to uncover the truth behind her actions and get to the bottom of this mystery. All right, so to start off there, uh, ethically questionable at the end to download someone's email conversation when you're not meant to, uh, privacy at work people. The other thing, Katie should have locked her terminal to not allow uh, Lona access to her documents. So um, security always, I guess. What we're looking at here is the tools that we've got is Steghide, Exif Tool, Syfy, Thunderbird. Uh, we've got a technique here. We could go look this up. So let's go minor. Uh, T, I think it was 002. I am terrible at remembering things. Uh, 1001. Okay, steganography. We could kind of guess that with the tools. Um, what we want to do is hide these until someone gets first blood, these uh, tactics, because they kind of give some of the stuff away sometimes. Um, we're running on a Linux box, easy, 25 points. How many questions we got here? 12 questions. Okay, remember here, uh, if you don't know, you kind of got to it towards the end. This is kind of forcing people to take good notes, but the last question in each of the three uh, beginner investigations, you needed to get a key, uh, and that's this key string here, and then you could use that in the Cursed Tomb lab at the end. And Cursed Tomb didn't unlock until you beat the first three ones. So let's see, yeah, spun up. And for now, let's jump into full screen. Having a quick look at some of the questions, we've got fascinating appears the individual URI is employing data obfuscation and it seems Katie concurs. What is their holy code? Mm, format holy code. 
All right, so let's do a quick look investigation. Oh, we've got some other things here. Read me text. All right, let's analyze these two emails. Katie's not an inexperienced person when it comes to operations, electronic communications. I'm quite confident you can find something valuable within these two emails to begin or open them in Thunderbird. Nowadays, data can be considered in various formats, including photos. Let's begin with my three favorite tools. We've got some links here that we can go have a look. Um, we've got how to run Cypher. It's running in a Docker container on this machine. Okay, that's cool. So we've got a couple of emails. Let's have a look at this one. All right, so it's open. Let's pull this over here. All right, we've got a bunch. Well, we've got this one open. I'm going to open this other one so we don't have to wait for it. Okay, what have we got here? What is immediately standing out for me is the fact that there's a bold word in all of this stuff. Uh, I doubt any of these pictures mean anything. I think that we need to dig into each of these photos. Uh, let's have a look. We've got here some Halloween stuff. Okay, and some more keywords. All right, so let's, let's save all these photos. And then I'm going to put uh, so what I'm doing is I, I want to keep the original name, but then I want to keep the, the code word because I think I'll have to use that. Um, I'm going to go through and do each of these and then I'll cut back uh, so you don't have to sit here and watch me kind of save all these photos. Catching a bit. All right, and we're done, but what I noticed here is there's a whole bunch of like Halloween photos at the top that don't seem to have keywords. Uh, from here, I took all these. So we may come back to this one, but for now, uh, I think I've got everything that I need in the investigation folder to continue. So I guess let's, let's crack on and, and have a go at this. So desktop investigation. Uh, cool. All right. Oh, I spelled laugh wrong. That person. That's all good. Let's. So we've got all the photos. What we want to do is try steg hide, I guess. Uh, so let's have a look in this. I forget how to use steg hide. Of course, I need help. Hmm. I cannot. So for now, let's go with this. So we've got steg hide and we want to extract data and we want to give it a file name. So SF. So let's have a look at our file scan. Let's go steg hide, extract, extract SF, give it the by laugh JPEG. Okay, good news. wrote extracted data to archive.zip. Okay. What do we need? Holy code. Do we need any of this? Disclose detail. Okay. Error defense cyber attack. Talk down with the adversary. All right, let's look through. Mm. Where do I extract here? Here we go. Ah, put it. That's all right. Um, so we have an employee list. 
All right, let me create a folder. Archives. I just want to be able to search these files. So yeah, so is it. archive so we're going to jump forward a little bit because since we got this straight away uh, archive we have the employee list client list emulators this what tech innovators what cutting edge technology weaknesses opportunities threats Hmm. Do I need any of this? I don't think so. Let's look at the employee list. Ah, here we go. So let's go forward slash loaner. Here's right at the end. Salary is 47,000 a year. So we are answering question eight straight away. Let's have a look at the health card report now. And got on the extent of sharing the report in health card with the adversary. Even though the incident is already public knowledge, the adversary is now aware that we've been backing their security department. What is the result of the cyber attack that targeted health card? Result. A victim to a sophisticated two words four and one, two, three, four, five, six, four and six. Uh, two, three, data breach. There we go. So I got that from here, yeah, resulted in a data breach. All right. So that was question nine. Damn it, did she disclose the details of the aero defense cyber attack? Oh, yep. There's no public information on this one aside from close clients and the defense industry. What process did aero defense follow to attain? A controlled resolution format, one word. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven. Controlled resolution negotiations. Yes. Can I copy this? Yes. Take away that. Question 10, there we go. <clears throat> what is the title of my short story? I don't think I have that in here. So in client list, health card. Client list is something we haven't had a look at yet. Okay, so that's not it. All right, I think we're done with this folder. Let's go back to extracting things. Uh, I want to go back to steg hide. There we go. Let's have a look at mountains. And 46 was the passphrase. Ooh, holy code. Here we go. Less holy code text. Now, I'm kind of assuming this is where we're meant to use Scyphe, but it depends depends on the encoding, we might just be able to use CyberChef. So, sorry, Malik, but let's try and do it this way. I have done a, I think it was Malik's lab before that had Scyphe and you definitely couldn't use uh, CyberChef. You had to use Scyphe because for whatever reason, 
the encoding that it, it had like extra steps of encoding that just made it more difficult. Uh, from this is binary, so maybe from binary. Yeah, and then this is base thirty two. Maybe not fifty eight. Oh, this could be like multiple. So it's not 64, 64 only has two equal signs on the end. Oh wait, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm doing two bases. Now I'm gonna go from a base. Let's go from 32. What is the holy code? Okay, so it's not, we're looking at the wrong file. So it's not mountain. Let's look at thinking. So I entered in a capital O. Holy code answer. Okay. Uh, answer. Yep. All right. We've got some more binary. We've already got our thing set up. So let's copy that and Again, sorry, Malik, but unless you're using Saifu for something else, I don't think we need it. Ghouls just want to have fun. Lord Jashin is one. We serve and live by the dark. Amen. I feel like that was meant to rhyme, and then it kind of didn't. There we go. It appears Keddy was far more treacherous than I anticipated. She exposed our main server's IP, which is what? Okay, let's just keep going through these photos and see what we get. Uh, caring, let's try that. Sweetheart is the key and let's less thanks. Thank you for the additional documents. Furthermore, the payment has been successfully transferred to your account, make, marking the completion of our current business dealings. Lord Jashin wishes to extend an invitation to you for our grand feast. Despite any prior disrespect, he has pardoned you. The invitation will be concealed within a pumpkin image, securely password protected. Yes, you'll need to work for it. The password is the answer to the following question. According to scholars, Halloween was based on which ancient festival? Okay. This lab's nice. You kind of get like, you're looking for one thing and you get distracted because there's just clues everywhere. Sam Hain. Uh, okay. H. H-A-I-N. Let's see if I remember that once I get this pumpkin image out. This, I don't think I had. No, I didn't. Save image as, so we have a pumpkin. Let's try this one. Entering again with a capital. Jashin face invite. Let's less that. In the dead of night, when the moon is nigh, is high, and the shadows are at their darkest, you are cordially invited to join us for a clandestine gathering of eerie and the uncanny. It's secret array where the supernatural reigns and mysterious thrives. 12 a.m. DT, Wraithwood Forest, whispers of the occult. Ghouls of the past and creatures that haunt your dreams await, but shh, this is our little secret. To unveil the mysteries that lie ahead, come cloaked in your most enigmatic attire. Unlock the unknown and embrace the supernatural at our spooky soiree. Keep this invitation close, for it is your ticket to the night of chilling delights. RSVP at Cursed Tomb, if you dare. Ah, oh, there we go. The key for Cursed Tomb, I reckon this is. We promise it'll be a night you'll never forget or remember. And we've got a key. So, 
Uh, this should be the key for the last question. Let's have a look at this. Yours in darkness, Lord Jashin. If we go down here, key string. Sweet. So just remember, we need to be taking notes here to make sure that we're uh, ready for Cursed Tomb, collecting these keys. Uh, let's keep going. So where were we? We did caring, sweetheart. That gave us thanks, which then gave us the pumpkin and Jash and Tex. Uh, let's go to the cute book. Uh, book. Enemy text. Let's have a look at this. Lord Jashin has specifically requested NASA scans. My apologies for any inconvenience. Our team has managed to unearth valuable data from the web page hosted on port 40. We stumbled upon a page labeled payroll app.php. It appears to be protected by some password. Any chance do you happen to know that password key? If not, that's acceptable. Your forthcoming Nessa scan will lay bare the server's vulnerabilities with that information. My team can strategize accordingly. As for this loner character, what is his background? His ability to discern subtle changes in your behavior is a significant concern. Unlike your ordinary colleagues, he's alert and possesses knowledge that could jeopardize Lord Jashin's grand plan. I always feel like uh, Malik bases his characters off something. Now I'm wondering who this Lord Jashin is. Let's do a bit of a detour because I'm interested now. Lord Jashin. From Naruto? Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember this dude. Okay. My nerd cravings are satisfied. Thanks, Malik. I appreciate all the anime references. Uh, where are we up to? Do me a favor, compile a report about what you know about him, given your status co workers in warfare, understanding your adversary is paramount to success. All right. So we didn't really, we didn't get anything out of that, which was annoying, but we've got so many photos to go. Let's have a look at flowers. Uh, magical. Loner story. Here we go. We do have a question on this. Title. This is what we wanted. Copy. Uh, we still got a bunch of other stuff. All right. There's definitely a lot of story here. I'm going to skip this and unless I really need it and I'll come back. But so far, I've only been getting one answer out of each thing. So let's loop back. Um, hope and cherish. Eliminate. It's so foreboding. The man I report is someone like Lona within your organization will expose us, blah, blah, blah. I won't tolerate my vision being clouded by the hidden saviors. Okay, that's in quotation. So maybe that's a password. Let's keep that in mind. Uh, husband and wine. Crazy text. Uh, there we go. There's a weird little character after this. Oh no, wait, that was my cursor. Never mind. Can't stand this phony email chain. Leave the company on October 27, 2023. I think there was a question on this. Generally surprised, what's the reason behind our main service? End of life, vulnerability name. Oh, Lord Jashin. There we go. Seeing that heaps. We just got question four, uh, purely just because we were reading the story a lot. The family states him to pray and depart the company on a particular, particular date. And so we've got that October. Uh, 27, 2023. Okay. 
we got that. But saviors was the other code, remember, that we haven't used yet, if it's a code. Oh, we're slowly getting through these photos. Be good when they're done. Uh, love, stream. Stop. Here we go. Ah, cool. This is what we want, because we want, I think this IP. Uh, oh, my bad. Yeah, there we go. She did a scan. Hero seems to know where our PHP applications are running. It seems like he was the one exploiting the RCE vulnerability. What is the name of it? RCE vulnerability. Could be... Oh, clearly not in this scan. Da, da, da. Um, all right, let's keep going. So we just did love page and future. Final text. Uri, consider this my ultimate communication. I'll forward the employee list SWOT analysis, client information, two recent breach reports. Uh, what are our targets? Targets is also in quotes. Could be another code word. Mm, okay. What's next? Romance. Uh, adventure. Hmm. Did I spell that right? A D V E N T R E. Hmm. So this is the first one we haven't been able to get anything out of. So I'm curious. Here we go. In the comment field, Nessus results password seven three two seven nine zero seven three two seven nine zero. Thinking, hey, there we go. Okay, so that was a bit of a misdirection there, uh, making me think that it just didn't work. But it was the first one that didn't work. All right, so it's taking quite a while for it to open. Let me just less the report and then we'll try and search through it. The PHP running one that's exporting an RCE vulnerability. What is the name of it? So let's just search RCE. Bunch of random stuff. This is not helpful. Okay. All right, so what was happening was the thing is still taking ages to load. I don't know why. Um, oh, maybe because of that. It's trying to connect to the fonts. Anyway, uh, what I did was I just cutted it and grepped for RCE, and then it could be this. Could be the full thing. Let's have a look. There we go. Okay. It seems our server has encountered yet another critical vulnerability. A particular module we are running has fallen victim to information disclosure vulnerability. Shedding light on recent security breaches, can you provide the CVE number associated with this vulnerability? So let's just grab for CVE in capitals. Uh, we've got a bunch. Recent vulnerabilities. This is the most recent. Let's copy this. This is now full screen. We'll Google it. Um, uh, 
What was it for? It was for information disclosure. <laughs> so it allows attackers to read and write arbitrary files. If they can read, that's information disclosure. There we go. Okay, so what I, what clued me in on that is probably, the, oh wait, the Nessus scan is up now. Just took a while for it to load. So let's drag that across and make this bigger. And then, oh man, can we get this? There we go, cooked it. All right, generally surprised, what's the reason behind this main server still running an operating system that reached end of life? It's concerning how vulnerable attacks can you please provide the name of the operating system and its EOL date, end of life date? Let's do a search for end of life. One of one match. Okay. End of life. End of maintenance, end of security. So OS name, last day year, one of two matches, ah, oh, there, okay, so let's go bun to, don't know if I need the number, April 30, 2019, hey, there we go, okay, we got it. So I don't think we actually got through all of the images either. Uh, I wonder if there's knowing Malik, he's probably put more story. So team and journey. I, I mean, like we're this far. Let's have a go. Hey, to see if he'd snuck in any more info into these so team journey, of course. Yep. Great dot text. Okay, so that's about the report that they stole. And then treat. And then Bali. Wow. Wow. Okay, more story. So well done, Malik. This lab was so full of story and it was definitely fun kind of like finding, like trying to find something and then just going down another beaten path to find another answer. I felt like I never was not answering a question and, I, and you definitely needed to read all the questions while you were going through it, uh, but really well done. I had a lot of fun with this one and then the key was fine. Um, it was great to find and yeah. Thanks everyone for watching. I am um, hope you got a lot of it out of this. I hope you tried to play when the event was on. Keep a lookout for more seasonal events because we're definitely going to do them. But thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to never miss a video. In the meantime, like I said, remember to join us on Discord. We had a lot of fun for this event on there. And tune in every Friday at 6 p.m. BST for more BTLA replay. Thanks everyone. I'll see you all next time.